PET is formed from two repeating isomers, ethylene glycol and terephthalic acid, none of which are found in nature and must therefore be synthesized from other compounds. In the case of ethylene glycol, it's usually formed from the epoxidation of ethylene, and this epoxide will later be hydrolyzed, which will form the product that we need to use in industry. On the other hand, terephthalic acid is directly formed from the oxidation of parastyline, which is a fossil compound that can be found in crude oil. Styline itself has three different isomers due to the fact that it has two methyl groups that can be found in three different positions with respect to each other, meta, ortho, and para. Uh, they are all found in crude oil uh, in a ratio of from 40 to 65% of methacyline and up to 20% of the remaining ortho and para isomers. In the case of meta and parasiline, they have a different boiling point from ortho, which allows their distillation. Moreover, when this mixture is cooled down, parasiline will crystallize, allowing its use in multiple applications, and in this case, the formation of terephthalic acid needed for the polymerization.